guys and welcome to a new video so today's video is very long awaited and it is my london flat tour video um i've done one of these before when i lived in a one bed flat by myself i'll link this up here and down below as well um i now live with bradley we live in a two bed flat in zone four of london we live in northeast um that's all i'm going to tell you because i'm not going to tell you the exact location of the flat um but that's where we live um and this is our flat so i'm going to start right at the front so this is the back of our front door with a mirror on it and then we have this little cupboard here as you walk in and we've basically just got like ironing board iron we've got these little drawers from like ikea with like umbrellas in and we've got a few coats and things up there and a fuse box and um, so nothing too interested in there but that's as you come in and then this is what you see when you come into the flat so we've got this gorgeous flooring it's beautiful uh, we've got a radiator here on my left hand side we've got one of these little yankee candle plug-in things which is so good like smells amazing and then this is our spare room here i'll obviously go into all the rooms we've got our little phone to answer the door when someone buzzes downstairs so this is our spare room this is our bedroom um this is our living room um and then we've got a toilet here and a bathroom here and then our kitchen is through here um, so that's kind of a layout of our flat and then i'm going to go into each bedroom now i'm going to start with the spare room because it's the first one that you come across so i'm going to give you an overview of our room first um in the spare room and then i'm going to go into all the details so this is what you see as you walk in um so this is our spare bed um we've got like a bookshelf and some frames on the wall and this is kind of like the overview of the room and then I will go into each section. So as you come in, the first thing you see is the Ikea Alex drawers. I have had these for quite a few years now. This still houses the majority of my makeup. So I've got like skincare in the top. I'm not gonna go through this in depth because I might do a full video on this. Quite a few people have asked for it. I've still got my foundations in there, etc. So I've still got like makeup in here. Um, but I also have makeup in my vanity as well now. Um, I've got my lipsticks on the top. And and then this is just a bit of like not really that organized just got like a little mirror here which is actually the wrong way around um my initials and then i've got two um creams for my eczema there then we have this wardrobe here i had this in my old flat in london um this is from next this is what it looks like it's got a drawer at the bottom um it's gorgeous wardrobe it's really really nice wood um it's really well made so in here i basically have uh, please ignore the messiness of a wardrobe i haven't i've tried to make this flat as tidy as possible but also it's still lived in like it's not a show home so this is my wardrobe where i've got jumpers and a few coats and a few really summery bits and bobs i've also got um like stuff for the gym in here um and like shorts for a holiday etc so this is just like a wardrobe with like extra bits and bobs in uh, i've got my pajamas down the bottom there um and then these are our curtains these are actually from ikea um, this is what they look like. I had these again in my old flat, so just reuse them. Um, we hardly ever draw these unless anybody's staying in this room. Um, so they're just kind of there for display. And then this is my little vanity. So this is from Next. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I really like it. I struggled to find a vanity that was the right size for in here. Really wanted the one from Ikea that everybody has, which has just got a long drawer like this that comes out. Um, and it's got kind of like the glass top on the top. But it was really, really really wide like and it would have come kind of like too far across here and just looked a bit ridiculous um so i got this one from next instead and i really love it i love the mirrored front on the uh, front of it um it's really it's just really nice it does its job perfectly um so on top of here i just have my makeup brushes um i have this little pot here with like some setting sprays in it a jo malone um cream these little mirrored things are from laura rashley my grandma got me them i love them um i've got some mac lipsticks here um another little mirror here and then i've also got all my perfumes in here and some other perfumes in this little set here i got for my birthday um i've got some photos along the back i've got me Liv and han here me and bradley i've got me ellie and claire 
me and Christina, and I've got me and my mum here as well. I've also got a little candle here. I might move this. I don't know where to put it at the moment. I got it for my birthday. Um, so yeah, that's what that looks like. This chair is from Amazon. Um, I can't quite remember how much it was, but it was really good value. It was about £20, between 20 and 30 It was really good value. Um, and you literally just had to put like the legs onto the frame uh, when it arrived, but it's really, really nice. And um, I really like that. I feel like it fits perfectly there. I mean, I just have these little wicker drawers underneath just for a few things like cotton pads, etc. Um, and a few of the bits and pieces. I do want to get another one of these or something similar to go next to it to put some more bits in. But that's what that section looks like. So then turning around from the vanity, we have our spare bed. So this is from Ikea. I cannot pronounce the name of this bed. But most people will know what bed it is. It pulls out into two singles. So it's a day bed now and then this bottom bit pulls out and it converts into kind of like it's bigger than a double bed um because it's like two singles put together so into a really good size bed when we actually came to look around this flat they uh, did have a double bed in this room for us that was kind of pointless because it would take up far too much space in here um it's quite a nice room at the moment there's a lot of space in it um and then when people come to stay we can just pull the bed out uh we don't need a double bed in here all the time we don't have guests constantly we've gone for kind of like a pinkish theme in here there's not too much of a theme but it's just nice and cozy um it's a really nice room we've got a tv um obviously on this little bookcase over here the bookcase is kind of there because um, I had this previously in my other flat um, but we kind of didn't want to get rid of it so we just popped it there it fit perfectly and I've got a few bits on this top shelf I've got some bits that I do my hair with in the morning in this little pot here um, and then we've got some books and bits here um, that are just displayed we don't use obviously the rest of the book case because you can't get to the other shelves but it's just like easy to be able to display the tv on here and it's a perfect height um we've got a tv here and an xbox which obviously is bradley's um this the, t the xbox was actually in the living room we didn't have a tv in here but we had like two spare tvs uh between us just over the past few years um from being at uni and stuff so we decided to put this one in here it's quite good if bradley wants to watch the football all day um and i don't want to watch the football then he'll come in here or or if I want to watch something on TV and he doesn't want to watch it or he wants to play Xbox um, it's just quite nice to have this separate room just for a bit more space um, so we've got the TV in here and then also on the walls we've got these prints these are from um, Disneyo these are actually not looking that great like we don't really we haven't moved them around because well we haven't got any what any other prints to put there yet but we feel like we need some more they just look a bit empty on this wall and not displayed the best um but i wanted to do this flat tour even though i had some things i want to change about this flat um i can then update you on things that i've changed that, that i'll change but i think if i waited until i had completed everything this was going to take a very very long time to film um um, so instead I thought I'd show you it and then some improvements that I want to make so we want to get um, some more prints from this wall some bigger prints because it's quite a big space and I just think they look slightly lost um, but obviously they go with the theme of the bed with it being like pink at the moment so yeah that's what we've got on this side of the room um, the bookcase is from Ikea as well, by the way. It's one of those cheap Billy bookcases. Uh, we've then got this little lamp. That's just there purely because we had it. Bradley's parents gave this to us. I had it in my old flat. Um, and that's just there, literally, just for some lighting. Um, and then we have this mirror here. So this is another thing I want to replace. Um, this mirror is actually dark brown, and it was Bradley's that he used to have. Um, and I painted it grey, um, just to go a little bit more with the room. I'd like to get a really big mirror in here that leans against this wall slash radiator. Um, just to be a bit more of a feature to be honest um, but we haven't got around to that at the moment so that's just there um, it's kind of like where we look at our outfits in the morning and also where I do my hair and stuff uh, and then in this box it's purely there for convenience we've literally just got in here our hair dryer uh, straighteners curlers etc and we've got a little extension lead there as well um, so yeah this is the first room I feel like I've talked for ages it's going to be really long and then on the back of the door I've just got bags that I use all the 
the time um, and like my work bag etc so they're just on the back of that door. I also forgot to mention we have lived here for five months now I think um, around five months so this is what like it looks like as I said there's some improvements that need to be made still and not even improvements just things that we would want to change and um, so yeah obviously I will mention those as I go around but I wanted to get this filmed because if I didn't I just feel like it was gonna be so long I'm just gonna put it off and put it off and so many of you have wanted me to film it and um, so yeah we've already been here for five months and there's things we still want to add but as I say I want to film it now Coming out of the spare bedroom, I'm gonna go directly into our bedroom. So this is kind of like a little overview of what it looks like. So this is my bedside table. So the lamp on it is from Ikea. I then just got a few trinkety bits on the top. And then the bedside table itself is actually from Next. It's from the same range that my vanity is from. I've got an extension lead there, which is like my phone charger, etc., on it. Um, and yeah, I love having a bedside table. Um, I don't know, I feel like some people aren't that bothered about having things next to them, like when they go to sleep. But I have loads of bits and bobs. I have all my bits and bobs to like sleep with and stuff here, like my oils and like... Um, eye masks and stuff and earplugs um so yeah that's my little bedside table our bed i think was from next it was like a seconds if you know what i mean like an x next furniture um and i had this when i was in my old flat so it was in storage for a year while i was in my final year of uni and we've pulled it back out um i absolutely love this bed it's gorgeous um this is the bedding and this is also from next the sheet and the pillowcases are from primark um they're really nice like jersey material and then the bedding is from next my biggest complaint with it is it is so creased i ironed this bed sheet like this duvet for two hours yesterday and it is still this creased the creases just will not come out it's my only complaint with it i really like it but it's just very very creased the throw we have on the bottom of the bed is from HomeSense. My mum bought me this for my birthday. I just think it goes really well with the room and with the bed. I've still got my little bears on the bed. Um, I just love them. Um, some things you want to change in here. I've just realised Bradley's bedside light isn't on and mine is. Um, but things we want to change. We want a couple more pillows to go on this bed. Um, so I think I want some like browny kind of coloured ones uh, for this time of year. Um, some kind of like autumnal pillows. So we want two kind of big ones here and then like a couple of smaller ones and maybe get rid of this grey one and on this wall we want something um we have debated between having prints on the wall um having a shelf there um just many different things um i think i'd quite like one of the pitch shelves from ikea with a few like framed images on and then with some like hanging plants or whatever but we just haven't got around to doing it yet so that's what we want above the bed coming around to the window we got some new curtains recently this is what they look like uh, they're coming up a completely different color on the camera um, they're kind of like a tealy kind of like blue color they look great on here um, but they're like a velvety uh, material and these are from Laradute um, I will try my hardest to link things down below um, it is going to take quite a long time so if there's something not linked below then please just let me know um, these blinds all the blinds in the flat came with the flat so I have no idea where they're from but they're very simple just grey blinds on our windowsill, these are just the bits that we have. We've got this frame that I got for my birthday from my auntie. So angel wings. We haven't currently got a photo in this um, yet because we only recently got it. So we need to fill that. I've got this really cute little heart thing that I got for my brother and his girlfriend. I just need to put a little um, candle in it. We've got this little love sign, which I absolutely love. Uh, my mum got me that for my birthday. And then this little photo of me and Bradley here. Um, and then outside here is our balcony. Um, so if I just open this you'll be able to see so this is our balcony we've got a little um table and chairs and two plants that we have slightly killed that we need to get rid of um but that's currently out there <laughs> we are on the third floor with the highest level in this building uh we have a little garage down there uh, with our car um next to it so yeah it's really nice to have some outdoor space especially in the summer months 
Uh, we have these fitted wardrobes in our bedroom. Um, they were obviously already here when we arrived. Uh, it's really nice to be able to have all this wardrobe space. This one here holds, this is very messy, has minor Bradley's coats and our shoes. The next wardrobe here, the mirrored one, is Bradley's wardrobe. So I'm going to leave that shut because that's his bits and pieces. And then in here, this is mine. It's a double railed wardrobe, which is really handy. Um, so yeah, they've got two lots of rail here. Um, in Bradley's, he does have um, a set of drawers. I will just show you. Um, he has this set of mound drawers from Ikea in there um, that he can use. And then I also have these drawers here, which match the next wardrobe in the other bedroom um, and these are ones that we already had as well I had these in my other flat in London because that didn't have fitted wardrobes um, so yeah it's really ideal that they're practically the same colour it's so nice that they've like matched so well and then on the top here I have these little candles uh, my stepmom made me these little crocheted holders they're so nice Rod has got his aftershows in here my grandma actually made me this she is absolutely incredible at pottery um, literally it is so beautiful inside here it is like a stained glass type thing or like a cracked glass um, and the space for a candle i did have a diffuser in here but the diffuser like ran out so i've taken that out but it is absolutely beautiful and i adore this um so that's just at the top there and then there's this little photo of me and broccoli from new year's eve a few years ago and this little mirror up here which is kind of pointless because Neither of us can actually see in it, but it just brings a little bit of mirror into the room. So that's up there and I think it looks cute. So coming out of our bedroom, we will go straight to the bathrooms. Please ignore these fans here. They're waiting to go back down to our garage because we are done with the fans now at this time of year. At the end of the day, this is just life, isn't it? <laughs> Having things around that you need to move and I just thought, I'm not going to wait to move those until we film this. So um, anyway, so this is our toilet room. If I owned this flat, I would definitely knock down this wall in between the two um, rooms because it's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so this is our toilet room. It's literally, as it says, is a toilet room. Um, in here, we have our bathroom. So going in, we have a heated towel rail on the side. Uh, we have a mirror here, which is quite helpful because it's kind of like angles like this. It's really nice to use. Uh, we have our sink and a little cupboard underneath. Cleaning products are down here and we have like scales and like a bath shelf and stuff over there. Then we have a little pot on the side. As you can tell, this is Bradley's, which is a bit messy. And then this is mine over here, which isn't the neatest to be fair. I keep all of my skincare in here. It's probably doing a bit more of a reorganize, but you can't do everything. Um, in here, I just keep hair bubbles and bits and bobs. And I've got three little candles on the side. And then this is our bath. So we've got just a little basket there with like a, what do you call that, a squidgy, my razor, and a little, what do you call it, thing that you clean yourself with in the shower, a shower puff. Uh, we've got some little hearts here as well, which looks super cute. Then we have all of our bath products and shower products down here, and then this is our bath slash shower. It's got these really nice little tiles, um, and then this is what the shower looks like, just a normal bath and shower. Um, but it is quite nice. And then on the back of the door, we just have dressing gowns on the back here um, and I think that hook thing was from like B&M um, and that is our little bathroom so I'll take you through to the living room now um, just here we have a cupboard in here there's probably going to be stuff falling out of it but it's a bit messy we just have like bags for life kitchen roll toilet roll random bits and bobs in there um, and our boiler and then here um, this little thing is shoe storage from Ikea um, so I've got my shoes in the top and Bradley's in the bottom. These are just ones that we wear kind of like, not even ones I wear every day. To be honest, it probably needs a bit of a reorganiser, but some shoes are kept in there. Um, we kind of want to have a bit of a reorganiser with this and get a bit of a bigger shoe storage. Because that's one of the things that we haven't stored very well with shoes in this flat. Then on here we just have our keys, we've got like a pound coin on there, etc. Got one of these automatic air fresheners here and a little thing for like post and bits and bobs and then we've got a mirror here um this actually used to be um wood and i painted it gray um and we like hung it on the wall i think it looks really nice there so then this is our living room through here it's very open plan i don't think we've ever closed this door this is definitely mine and Bradley's favorite room of the house by the way Bradley isn't ignoring the vlog he's actually out at the moment i thought it was a good time to be able to film this um so I'm going to show you kind of like an overview and then like around section by section. But this is our living room. I feel like it's probably the room that you've seen the most on Instagram and vlogs, etc. 
So starting here, this chair was never actually meant to go in the living room. Um, this is from HomeSense. I got it at an amazing deal. Um, it was, I think, £25. I think it might, it could have been 50 I think it was like 25. I'm gonna have to check with my mum, but I'm pretty sure. It's basically, it had like a weird smell, uh, like a fishy smell when we first got it. Uh, that's why they were reduced so much, but literally we just left it outside and the smell went. This was when I was in my flat in London last time that I got this and it was in my bedroom at that point. Um, I actually really wanted this chair to go in the spare bedroom with my vanity, but I obviously measured wrong <laughs> when my vanity arrived, this did not fit underneath it and it just looked too big. So it's in our living room as an extra piece like a like furniture for people to sit on and it actually looks really nice here now so the cushion that's on it I think it's from next then we've got our cheese plant he is called Steve um, he is doing so well he's grown so much since we got him we've got these little sticks to keep him kind of like growing in the right direction they probably need a bit of a move around because he is currently growing into the chair <laughs> um, but he's growing so much and I absolutely love him uh, we got the actual cheese plant from Ikea and the little pot that he's in was from Homebase. Then just next to Steve, we've got these little tables. These were from B&M, super affordable. I think they were £20 for both of them. Um, they just kind of like slide out like this and they're a really nice nest of tables to have. Um, there's a random little photo, graduation photo of mine, uh, which Bradley wanted for his wallet, but has obviously left it there. We've got two little candles, both from HomeSense. I've got this Liverpool coaster because Bradley supports Liverpool football. Um, I think that was from Etsy, I got him that. And then my mum got us both these little coasters. There's a B and a J and there's a little heart as well. They're really sweet, I don't know where she got them from. This little frame was from HomeSense and I love this photo. And then this is from the lampshade, I'm not too sure where it was from. But the bottom of it was from Wilco and it actually came with a white lampshade on top. But um, when we moved into this flat we just thought the grey would look better. Then we just have this chair. This is from Next. Again, it was in my old flat in London, so you would be able to see it in that um, flat tour. This was actually the end of a sofa. So if you think of a corner sofa, this was actually the corner part of it, or the you know the extra part of it. This side here is um, you wouldn't be able to put that there for people to see. If that makes sense, uh, we just got it here. It works perfectly in our flat. It's a really nice chair to sit on. Um, you can lie on it as well. Quite often we put these cushions um, against the wall here on the little uh, blanket basket, and we lie there and watch TV. Like not both of us, one of us. <laughs> um, so yeah, it really works well for us um, and we got this from kind of like an ex furniture place as well um, and then this lamp here is from Argos um, really really nice lamp this was about £60 I think um, it's like an overarching lamp and I really like it um, these cushions this one here is from next Actually, they're both from Next, I think. Yeah, they are. This one was more recent Next. My mum actually got this for us, and then that one I've had for a while. Then down here, I've actually got this little blanket basket. This was from Danelm, and literally has so many blankets in it. There's actually one down there as well from Primark, because it won't fit in. Um, and then we have a very, very large window in our living room, which is so nice. It lets in so much light. These curtains were from Danelm. Um, they look like this they just got kind of like a waffly detail on it and they're gray um they were actually in the sale when we got them I'm just like moving them slightly uh, they were in the sale when we got them and i'm glad we got them in the sale because in here the curtains really don't need to do anything we hardly ever close them um, unless we had somebody staying in the living room as like an extra area to stay we just would never ever close them. So I'm glad we didn't spend full price on them. Um, and then these little curtain ties are from Amazon. They're just like this, they were super cheap. And just along our window shelf, we've just got a few bits and bobs. This little Anne sign was from Primark years ago. This was from Etsy, it's a little Breaking Bad coaster. Um, this is years old, like, I think it's actually stuck to the side. It's got to be like so many years. These are all old photos of me and Bradley. I actually got Bradley this, I would say like two or three years into our relationship. We've now been together eight years. So we actually wanted to replace the photos in this months ago. We completely forgot until literally now. Um, so that's just on there. And to be honest, it's quite nice to have old photos in there. Um, we've got a Yankee Candle black coconut uh, candle. A little frame that says smile in it. We've got these flowers. These fake flowers, my friend Claire 
actually got me last year for my birthday and the vase is from Wilco. I've got a Bath and Body Works candle here which is in caramel swirl. Oh no it's not, cinnamon caramel swirl. Um, and I've opened them just because like on here it's nice to have them open because they smell nice. Um, this frame is from New Look and the photo in it is for me and Bradley when we went to Florida last year. Then on here, I've just got this little lantern with this candle in it. This is from Ikea. Uh, Bradley got me this little coaster when I graduated. And then we've got this little fake plant here, and that was from New Look years and years ago. Then next to the window, we actually have a little dining table. So when we first moved in, I thought this looked a little bit strange here. But now I'm quite glad that it's here. What, what this is, is a dining table. The, tables, the chairs are underneath it. We pull it out to eat dinner. It works perfectly for us. and It just works really well. There's only ever the two of us eating dinner. And if we have other people around for dinner, uh, we just sit around the coffee table. And it's really not an issue. Um, so, yeah, this is where we sit to eat our dinner. We just, like as I say, pull it out along here um, and sit together and eat it. And it's just really nice. I've got these little... So, um, this was from Amazon by the way, it was about £50 um, and then I have got these little placemats on there which were from Danelm. Um, this little thing, I have no idea where it was from. I can't remember, I think it was from like B&M. Um, and then we have this unit here which is an Ikea unit. On the top we've got the little fake plant from Ikea. Um, and the little pot that it's in was from HomeSense. Uh, we've got our router up there. And then as I say, this is from Ikea. Um, I can't even remember what it's called. Is it the Calax unit? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, we've just got these um, and then drawers. And then we've also got another drawer and another box down there. And then coming on to our sofa, which has got to be my favourite part of the entire flat. This is what it looks like. This was from HomeSense and this was my absolute bargain of the century. I know you're not supposed to kind of like tell when you've had bargains, but I have got to just say this. Um, about a week before we moved into this flat, we actually were going to have Bradley's parents' old sofa. I had that one in my flat last, not last year, the year before when I was in London. Um, as I say, if you go and watch this flat tour, you'll be able to see what I was talking about. I had um, their beige sofa. It's like a suede beige sofa. We were going to have that and then we were going to get a sofa a few months in um just get it on finance from like a sofa company as most people do um and i was in home since the week before i moved in and i actually saw this sofa downstairs um for about 700 pounds i think um i took a picture of it sent to bradley and was like oh this would be nice like if it was in a few months time kind of thing then i went upstairs in the home sense they had this exact sofa like this is the sofa i'm talking about they had this sofa upstairs in home sense reduced to 275 pounds and the only reason it was reduced is because it has let me show you um this rip on the sofa arm which firstly you could most probably repair quite easily um just with kind of like a patch over it but secondly we just keep this throw here and you would never ever ever know that it had a rip on it and it was 275 pounds so i brought it there and then um, they delivered it to home for me at home sense for like 25 pounds extra and it was literally the bargain of the entire century it's one of the nicest sofas it's absolutely gorgeous and it's this gorgeous like teal like suede color and it's just beautiful so this is like my favorite part of the entire flat um above it we've got this mirror which is from ikea um and i'll tell you where the cushions are from on the sofa so these big gray ones were from next i think they were 20 pounds each this one here is from h&m home got two of these these are a few years old this one here is kind of like recent ish this cushion is also from next and this one is as well um this one is old i actually got it as a present for my mum for my birthday like years ago so i have no idea where that's from again we've got h&m home and next so that's our sofa, my absolute <laughs> love of life. Um, and then here we have um, this little shelf unit. This is actually from George Home. Um, so this is what this looks like. The bottom of it is slightly messy. Again, it's lived in. Not everything is going to be perfect. Um, so starting from the top, we've got this little um, diffuser, which is from Audi. Cute little picture of me and Bradley, which is the same one that is over there in that little cube. And then these little fairies are actually Christmas decorations. My mum got me this one for my birthday, and then I picked up this one from HomeSense recently. To be honest, they don't look that Christmassy, and I just don't want to put them away. And then this little plant here, I think it's ivy. Um, it's real. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now, and I've kept it alive. Um, it's growing really nicely. Um, and the, the plants from Ikea and the pot is as well. 
Um, so that is just there, kind of taking over those fairies' lives. So this is the next shelf. Um, to be honest, mine and Bradley's graduation photos really need a home. Um, his is just there, and then mine are down there at the moment. They just need organising. We're thinking of putting them on this wall here, just this white wall, and putting like three down the side of it um, in frames. We just haven't got around to it yet. So we've got this photo here, which is of me and Bradley and Bradley's sister Tia. Um, I've got some um, centerpiece. Is it called centerpiece? Yeah, centerpiece like melts here because I've got my little centerpiece there. Um, obviously Bradley's graduation photo is there um, Bradley got me this for my birthday which is so cute not for my birthday for graduation um, and it says this on it it's so cute I love it um, so we've just got that on there this little plant was from B&M pretty sure um, this was from Tiger and um, literally this was mine and Bradley's like one of our songs that we had when we first met at 15 um, you had me at hello uh, from a day to by not from a day to remember by a day to remember um, so it was really cute when we found that in Tiger and then that's our little Yankee Candle, Yankee Candle centrepiece the next little shelf down, we've got a Breaking Bad print at the back. This little guy who, to be honest, has been the hardest plant we've had to ke keep alive. Um, so he's just sitting there at the moment, but he's not looking that great. Um, the pot was from Matalan. Um, then this is a Bath and Body Works candle. This is Leaves by Bath and Body Works, which is my favourite candle of all time. Um, and it's in this really cute little candle holder, which again, is from Bath and Body Works. Got this last year in Florida and I absolutely adore it um little graduation photo of Bradley there which again needs a better home um this little trinket is from h&m home and they've got a little orchid behind which i've had literally for so many years we've then got our bin here the reason for this is in our kitchen there is literally no space for a bin so it's here it doesn't affect us it's not really very noticeable um but yeah that's the bin. And then the one thing I haven't shown is our coffee table and our rug. Oh, and our TV stand. Um, so our rug, I've actually got a few questions about this. It's actually from Carpet Right, which I don't think you would ever think. I'm going to sit on the sofa to tell you about it. Um, so I don't think you'd ever think it was from Carpet Right. I was trying to find a rug like this that kind of had this like diamond pattern on. A lot of them that are like this are kind of like cream and black or like white and black. We didn't want black, especially because our floor is kind of like this parquet flooring. Um, and I think it would have looked a bit too busy to have like a really busy rug. We didn't want something plain. We found it really difficult to choose one. So I found this one in Carpet Right. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's so nice. So many people have asked me about it. Um, so again, I'll try and link everything down below. And then this uh, coffee table was from Ikea. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was definitely from Ikea. <laughs> I was questioning myself then. Um, but this was from Ikea. It's got kind of like sections and underneath so we've got kind of like books and stuff brad has got his books on this side mine on the other side and then we've just got like our laptops underneath here a little um photo album and stuff and then on the top we've just got a couple of candles and then these are our flowers of choice this week i've literally got these today from aldi um we get flowers every single week it's something we've really got into doing um in this flat which is really nice to have flowers on the coffee table every week um the vase is from home sense my mum got me it for my birthday and this tray was i'm pretty sure it was from ikea and then this is our TV, so it's currently on mute. I'm actually currently watching a Christmas film on Channel 5. Um, there's the Christmas tree. Um, it's currently on mute. Um, our little TV stand is actually from eBay. Um, I feel like this was such a good buy. I think it was around £65. And for this like Scandinavian furniture, I normally pay a lot more than that. Um, this is what it looks like. So I've got one section down here which has got a DVD player on it, um, an actual PlayStation 2 because we had one like in our moving boxes. So we just popped it there in case you want to play with it, and a Wii. Um, the two boxes down there have just got like electrical bits in it and you know, random bits and pieces. I've got a Bath and Body Works candle on the top there. The little home sign is the same as the love one that's in my bedroom that my mum got me for my birthday. Um, she got me both at the same time. And then there's a photo here of me and Bradley at the Eiffel Tower. And then in here, we've just got loads of DVDs and games, like Wii games, PS2 games and Xbox games, and a few leads and bits and bobs like that. Um, this frame here is actually going to go on this wall. It's going to go above here and it's going to go um, landscape on the top. The reason why it's currently not up is because we haven't got all the photos we want to get. We want to take a few more when we go home next with people that we don't have that many photos with. Um, just to make sure that like 
there's a good array of photos in here of lots of different people i have loads of photos with my friends for example i don't want the photo frame to be filled with photos of like my friends and my mum because they're the people i have the most photos with we want photos of like Bradley's family in there um etc so yeah we just need to get some more photos for this before we pop it on the wall um this is from mns though i don't know if it's still on there um but i will link it down below if it is the reason why we bought it when we didn't have the photos is because it was actually on sale on m &S, um so that's why we got it so that's it for our living room i absolutely adore this room i'm just going to do a little overview from this section for you um but yeah i love this room so much it's so cozy um and it's just exactly what we wanted it's very very homely um, and I just love it. It's got some really nice features in it. I just, yeah, it's one of my favourite rooms. So on from the living room, we have our kitchen. I love the fact this is so open plan. I like the fact it's not actually the same room, um, which is what I had in my old flat before. I had a very long room with a kitchen and a living room in it as you will see if you go and watch the other flat tour um but i really like the fact this is open um but there's like it is a different room um i just really like that so this is our kitchen i'm not going to go through what we have got in every cupboard if you want me to do an actual kitchen tour or like a kitchen organization video or something like that i will do that and go through kind of like where we store things and the storage we've got etc but this is kind of an overview of our kitchen so we've got a tall cupboard here other cupboards uh the microwave again we have letters on the top of the microwave because who doesn't have letters on the top of their microwave uh we've got a smoothie maker here which really doesn't get used that much but that's there um this chopping board is from bnm um these little things are from bnm but these are quite a few years ago this little pot is actually an old um pot of truffles that was from mns i got for christmas and i've popped my little like, utensils in it to be honest we need a bigger utensils pot because there's not enough room in here for all of them this is our hob we actually got a new hob when we moved in um they replaced our hob which was really nice of them uh i've got some little drawers down here um obviously tea towels and um, oven gloves which the oven gloves are from B&M um, and then here I've got this little knife block obviously oil and fry light this little timer thing I've had for years it was my grandma's and she gave it to me um, this knife block was from B&M ages ago uh, we've got an Alexa here I've actually got um, Alexas in three rooms of the house I've got one in here one in the spare room and one in the in the not in the kitchen one in the bedroom um, they're really handy and we just how, love having three of them um we, me and Bradley both have one each and then we got one for the house um this is our toaster we've got a toaster and kettle that match this is a four slice toaster um i did have a two slice toaster before but we just decided to get a four slice one because like both of us want two slices of toast so that's what we got when we moved in um here are all our cookbooks to be honest these hello fresh recipes probably need to go because they're just messing up the uh, array um but yeah these are all our cookbooks that we have here all lined up next to the cookbooks we have salt and pepper and a little spice rack i've got these little skewers in this little jar no idea why to be honest but i have um then i've got little uh, what's his name edmund um he's solar powered brother got with him years ago and he's still here still going strong um on the windowsill here next to our sink we've got three plants these are all real um i have no idea what kind of plants they are and they actually had names when we moved in but i've forgotten their names is that bad um this one in the middle was called lily but i don't know what the other two names were but yeah these are our little plants that we've got here um this is our sink this little organizer was from Danelm. that's for cutlery this was from b and um and then this washing up board is probably my favorite thing in this house um not the favorite thing in this house but i absolutely love it it's got a little like stopper like drain thing i like the fact it's gray it's quite like a snazzy washing up bowl um this no idea i think was from b and m this is from home sense um and then we've got a walt and jesse on the side as well which jesse is looking a bit worse for wear around this side i have my cook's professional stand mixer literally my favorite thing in this kitchen <laughs> better than even the washing up bowl the washing up bowl was from home bargains by the way um i love this mixer i've always wanted one of these and i'm so grateful for cooks professional for sending me this uh we've then got a um what do you call this kitchen roll and get your roll holder and then over here i've got a tea coffee and sugar jars which are from b and um this jar which i've got no idea where this is from my grandma gave me this and i have a kettle here which matches the toaster and then we have our washing machine down here as well which was new when we moved in too and then this is our 
fridge which was also new when we moved in as well um and this is what our fridge looks like actually looks a bit bare but we've just literally done a food shop uh we didn't buy loads and loads of food this week but yeah that is our fridge we didn't actually show you out here i've actually got this print which is a london print and this is from mapiful um and yeah it looks really cute out here so that is our flat i hope you have enjoyed this video um seeing what our flat looks like um obviously you can see it in vlogs and stuff but it's nice to see like an entire overview if you want me to go in depth in any particular room or you've got any questions of where things are from please just let me know down below or dm me on instagram and i'll be able to get back to you um i hope this has been helpful and enjoyable to watch um i feel like it's been such a long awaited video but i wanted to get things in an all right order before i kind of like did a flat tour um, and when I have updated rooms like when I have kind of updated the spare bedroom with a few more prints and I've done the bedroom with kind of like the cushions and the shelf um, I might do like a bedroom update video if you guys would like that so you can see what we've done to update the room but thank you so much for watching this video please give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it please leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite thing about this flat is it better be a beautiful sofa because <laughs> uh, I'm very very happy with my sofa um, but thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't before i would love you to and i will speak to you next time bye